Black Hebrew Israelites all over the world. Manipulative messages. People are educated that black is usually something negative, while white is something positive. If you hit, for example, in a lexicon, the word black, you'll find there. Black without color, completely absorbing light, not reflecting, very dark, dark, forbidden, evil, Omnious, very dirty, like black thoughts have. Blacklist, black clothes, black man, black beer, black soul, black day, black act, black market, moonlighting, black burners, dodgers, black painters, pessimists, etc. If you look under white, you'll find in the same lexicon, white, all visible colors reflective, no color of the brightest color the opposite of black free of stain or blemish innocent pure without any ill intention harmless honest like white christmas white easter white snow white gold white magic etc people learn that black stands for something bad while white stands for something good this is anchored in the subconscious with enough repetitions in addition Jesus is always portrayed by the whites as a white son of God, even though he was black. If Jesus knew Maria was, which skin color will God have? And if God knows, what color will Satan have? Whites are given a sense of superiority, while blacks are ashamed of their skin color. They get the feeling of being inferior, that's why they want to be white, straighten their hair and try to live like whites. But as I said, the whites do not want the blacks. For black people are still disadvantaged and discriminated against in all areas of life. They still have to serve the whites, for example. They have to spend their money in the whites' shops because they have no way of owning their own long-term businesses. Every single millionaire, every wealthy white man whose fortune was made in the United States has bloody money in his pocket namely profits blackmailed by black men and women. At the end of the 20th century, there are still people or again people who rob and sell other people. The modern slaves then have to work without rights, powerless and without any compensation on plantations, in factories, in mines or in brothels. And this under conditions that can only be described as inhuman. How does it happen that colored people exploit other colored people and do that to them, which is then glossed over with forced labor, bonded labor, child labor, forced prostitution, or fraudulent job placement? One point is, for example, wars, indebtedness, poverty, or flight, which then produce something like that. And it is the unjust structures that benefit the West, the industrialized countries. A second point is cultural imperialism, which suggests to the third word that the way of life of the West is the non plus ultra. It is awakened by television and other media, aware of the need for consumption and luxury. And this for the price of humanity. Yes, that's why humanity is left behind and is no longer practiced. If one connects these two points, one can describe the situation by a scenario, which looks like the following. At first, every colored man thinks only of himself, try to squeeze out the other brother to get as much profit as possible through him. With the profit he'll buy western consumer goods so as to appear a little more western, to show that he is something better. The westers on the other hand are very pleased with this as he now has a perfect monkey again or an uncle tom who would do anything for them and be treated as equally by them but there will never be equality under these circumstances another picture to explain this a western man locks four people of the same skin color or the same religion or ethnic root into a room and makes it clear to the four that they will not leave this room as long as they live. 
the western man dresses well next i mean luxuriantly and takes one of the four caged ones aside in the absence of the others he explains that this one prisoner might be able to leave the building to live a luxurious life with some help but he would have to kill the others maybe the one prisoner will not do this at first but he makes it abundantly clear that the other prisoners would be dying of age in the building anyway that this would not be the only chance for him to leave the building alive and that the others would kill him too if that mattered then he will most likely kill the others but the culprit is not the murderer but the one who made him a murderer and this is the man from the west how and why messages are manipulated news cast must first and foremost bring quotas the importance of the information content ranks behind it a news program can be as informative as it pleases if she gets a bad viewer rate over a longer period of time she'll be deposed also each new cast is in competition with the other new programs of the other channels if she does not bring the latest news first she'll lose her viewers this is followed by lower ratings and thus this program would fly out of the program that is why the reports are often helped some examples that i found in the magazine focus 11 1993 the cable channel pbs produced a documentary about the second world war in which black jails free concentration camp inmates and the cow and bushen wald but the veterans denied having been there abc had an alleged actual money transfer between an american diplomat and a kgb agent the scene was invented nbc reported a supposed fish dying the creatures shown had been stunned by rangers for census purposes in germany young people were offered money to make rioting against foreigners in front of the camera or an example from the sudich jutang nr 23 warm 29 first 1996 there one finds that the journalist michael bon has falsified 30 television contributions according to the public prosecutor's office in order to facilitate the transmitters by at least 300,000 marks the following channels have brought contributions from him the programs ard zdf the swiss drs spiegel tv sat1 rtl pro cyben stern tv and z therefore i cannot understand why the media have torn oliver stone's film natural born killers because the hypocrisy of the media lies in the fact that stone shows through the film clearly how much the media crave for sex crime and violence to make as fast as lurid as possible a report of it stone shows that media can kill indirectly and thus reports can be just as murderous and gun barrels do you have to agree with that considering that the programs that are mostly about sex crime and violence are not getting less but flicker more and more over the tv since most people believe that messages they are influenced without realizing it and without being able to defend themselves scientists in sweden have made for example during a survey 40% of children between the ages of 6 and 10 are firmly convinced that people die exclusively from murder and man's laughter but the hypocrisy goes on it is by you a rap series requires that they be provided with a special imprint this is a parental advisory explicit lyrics listening to these series you might be shocked by the aggressive style of speech but if you pay attention to the text with some you will find that the series are another medium to denounce social ills of the colored minority in many countries the musicians are reproached that their series are all about violence sex and drugs perhaps this is true 
but this is often the reality or comes very close to the reality in which many people grew up or lived since no official can use denouncing the social ills as a reason to prohibit the sale of these cds they take the violence as a hanger for their program but it's a fact that the violence the drugs and the crimes were first to be found in the ghettos before some people began to rap about these things and the officials do nothing against the conditions in the ghettos but get upset when you publish these things no i'm saying that there is no true freedom of speech one must for example explain everything you say when you're famous and even then the statements are often twisted by the media if it is in their interests you have real freedom of speech only when you are alone on a mountain and take to yourself in the magazine spiegel 45 1994 i found a good example of the true face of freedom of speech philip jenniger gave a speech on 10 11 1988 as president of the german bundestag in the commemoration event on the occasion of programs of national socialist regime against the jewish population 50 years ago a court a sentence that is truly representative of his speech for its spirit in retrospect it becomes clear ladies and gentlemen that between 1933 and 1938 there actually was a revolution in germany a revolution in which the rule of law was transformed into a state of injustice and crime into an instrumental for destroying precisely the legal and ethnic norms and norms foundations whose preservation and defense the state in its concept should actually be the politician was so vertically down after the speech like no other politician since 1945 or in the Spiegel 10 1983 on US propaganda it reports on how to censor the environmentalists and peacemakers in the US while supporting the American idea of freedom abroad project democracy with millions of dollars another example of the manipulative nature of the media is as follows on 19 April 1995 explored a skyscraper in Oklahoma City by a 500 kg car bomb 168 people died in the rubble before there was anything officially known about the assassin or the motive the speculation in the media began who could have done such a thing quickly one had the alleged perpetrator it was claimed that it would be islamic fundamentals to whose account this attack would go This was repeated on so many channels that it almost to whose it almost took the rumor at face value so you could represent islam against negative later it turned out finally that it was now the right wing ex soldier tim mcway who wanted to take revenge for the attack on the waco disaster because in waco government officials have raised a sect for the att- sect seat and in this case 80 people died in 1993 but there are doubts about this perpetrator again one more for manipulative messages during the second gulf war the weekly german illustrated quick published a cartoon titled monster world ranking 1991 there were three podiums consisting of three skulls Saddam Hussein took first place while Hitler and Stalin had to settle for second and third place Hitler had a swastika on an armband while Stalin carried a red star however Saddam Hussein wore a flag with a crescent as a symbol of Islam Saddam Hussein should therefore be the representative of Islam of course these media devotees did not mention that the Ba'athist party which was dominant in Syria and Iraq was not mentioned in its original constitution ideology strongly shaped by the Christian Syrian Michel Aflaq Bathedio Gia has two pillars Arab nationalism and socialism I do not have to say that today's nationalism first prevailed in Europe 
At the same time, Norman Schwarzkopf was portrayed in the media as a Gulf War hero. For a long time, the media hid the general's negative side. U.S. Secretary of Defense Dick Cheney wanted to fire the general shortly before the Gulf War because he had such an unrestrained and pompous manner. He was driven across the desert in a vehicle convoy that was longer than King Fahad's. General threatened his highest ranking generals from the army, navy, air force, the commanders of both army corps and his air target planners with dismissal and court martial. If it had been up to him, then Iraq would be bombarded with nuclear missiles. The napalm and air bombs have not only been used against buildings he claimed but have killed Iraqi soldiers. This was also planned. From the magazine Der Spiegel 31 1993 Overpopulation, AIDS and the emergence of the disease. It is always suggested, especially by the media, that there is an overpopulation, but this is not the case. If developed countries were not so greedy, there would be enough for everyone, and people would not be a burden to the world. For the West consumes four-fifths of the riches of the Earth, also an American consumes as much energy as two Europeans, or as 55 Indian or 168 Tanzanians, or as 900 Nepali. But instead of ending the greed, you have sought another solution. There have been experiments, bi biological experiments, but these got out of control. I am convinced that AIDS was an out of control biological experiment to get rid of unwanted people. The experiment was carried out in Africa to destroy the black population by this virus, but this spread from there, unscheduled over the whole world. Looking at statistics, on the rising numbers of victims of AIDS, it quickly becomes clear that this is also a way to reduce the overpopulation. This sounds incredible and fantastic, and many like it, and cannot believe it. But this is not the first time governments have made lethal experiments on the ignorant population for research purposes. In 1953, the British used nuclear nuclear tests in Austria to kill unsuspecting aborigines through the fallout. These tests went back to 1963 and the governments of both countries, Australia and the UK, did not think it was necessary to inform their populations for a damn long time. Manipulation The white supremacy is exercised mainly by deliberate deception and violence. It deliberately and systematically influences the minds of people. This with the aim of destroying the community. The pillars of these actions are the education, the television and the media, the religion. Number one, that is the education. The, the education is therefore used for manipulation to influence the behavior of the people. From an early age, you control what you get, what you control a man's thinking. You do not need to be afraid of his actions anymore. You do not have to tell him to stand here or go there. He finds his right place, which is far back by itself and will stay there. You do not need to send him to the back door either. The back door is for the colored, while the front door is for the whites. He'll go there without him being told. If there is no back door, he will build one for his own special benefit. His education takes care of that. Carter Woodson, The Miseducation of the Negro So you have to forget what you have learned and learn what you forgot. We, the colored people, have achieved a lot, but you will not experience this if you rely on the Western school system and let yourself be taught by it. Most of our contributions to human development have been systematically erased or whitewashed to keep us in second grade. 
we have been so socialized that we unconsciously believe that we are not full-fledged human beings. Since it is said that the whites invented, developed and discovered all things that developed humanity, we allegedly did not contribute to this development. Because of this imperfection, it comes to self-hate. We hate ourselves. We does not agree, see only our black community look. The only way out is to realize how big we once were. Because if we do not know how big we once were, we cannot imagine how big we can become again. Let's always remember we only learned what other people wanted, that we learn it. Dick Gregory once said, information is power, education is not power. Money is no power, information is power. Only when we receive the true information about us, we can become free people. Number two is the television and the media. Let's ask ourselves, how many times have we seen positive amounts of colored people or Muslims in films? Hardly any. The constant intensification of negative impressions that depicted us as brutal, uncivilized, uneducated, militant, and lazy had devastating consequences for our community. We need to understand that our life is more inclusive than this and that these are just artificial images that have been made to put us in a negative light. This was done with the ulterior motive so that our self-esteem not only remains weak but that other people see us permanently as worthless people, as a permanent problem. Remember, if something is worthless, there will be no remorse if it is eliminated. Consider the average American household has at least two televisions and a video device. The average American spends one-fifth of his life nearly 15 years watching TV. Endowed with this information, it is crazy to think that television is anything but a thought maker, the new god of nations. Television is directly responsible for presenting thoughts and images that influence and guide minds of millions of viewers. So watch television with care and be aware of the potential danger to your brain. Number third point is the region, religion. Sorry. To control our behavior, the white racists first had to control our thoughts. It was difficult for them to create a white man as Christ the son of God, even though Jesus was colored. In a deep subconscious realm, the mind of rationalizes that God, the father, must also be white, otherwise he would have a colored son. Although no person is programmed to accept Christianity, every person has, consciously or unconsciously, the image of God as a white man. Combining this with the definition of God as the mighty, the ruler, the creator and the controller of cosmos, you get devastating results. For many non-white people throughout the world unconsciously consider themselves not only subordinate to the whites but also dependent on them. Also, it has always been the case that the white Christians first declare as inhuman to soothe their conscience. Then they attack to control us. The principle is very simple but extremely effective. If you want to make a group of scapegoat, you first separate them from the others to isolate them. Then you make sure that the cohesion in your own group is strengthened. After that, one ensures that all positive attributes are recorded in one's own group, while the negative attributes are found in other group. Afterwards, one ensures that the own group feels threatened by the isolated group. Finally, they are dehumanized to kill them.